Welcome back to Dark Souls 3 with me and my wife, Anni. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me. <laughs> Welcome back to Return of the Oprah Din with me and my wife, Anni. <laughs> Hello. Um, at the end of the last episode, we were mainly trying to figure out the identity of the remaining four topmen, the four Chinese topmen. And the one that we've been chasing right now, basically, is this one because they're the only one of the four topmen that we haven't identified that have two triangles rather than three. So apparently the game thinks they should be the easiest. And I think we just cracked it. Um, back in this memory, this is... This is part one of the Doom or part two? Part one. Yeah. No, part two, part two, part two. Yeah, part two. <laughs> this dude, is the one where the shit. taking a shit. Yeah, the dude taking a shit over there who got squeezed by the tentacle monster. <laughs> um, these two people are here at this table. This is the same table where we saw the three Russians playing cards at one point. And this is one of the Chinese topmen here. This one. And there's, well... <laughs> There's two bunks here. That one, which is kind of collapsed and we can't see the number for it. And then there's one over here that has nobody in it and we can see the number for it. This one here, 41, is one of the numbers for one of the Chinese topmen. So I think it stands to reason that them being here eating food right next to their own bunk seems reasonable. It seems like people pack them away when they're when they go to work, but this person hasn't gone to work yet. They're just kind of waking up and eating food. And also this person that they're talking to is George Shirley. And in a previous memory, we can see that one of the bunks here is number 59, is it? Yes, 59. 59. And bunk number 59 is also George Shirley's. So I think this bunk is the unput away bunk of this Chinese top then. And this bunk is absolutely the bunk of, of George Shirley. Yeah, because people on ships kind of work on shifts. So probably everyone else in that specific bunk little section is like out working right now yeah so um they are number 41 whaley whaley now who are the others no fucking clue yeah and um we thought that we would have to figure out um fates and names for some of the Chinese top men, but it turns out that we actually got all of their fates. Now we just need to get their names, right? Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, for a while there, I, I think we thought that they disappeared during the bargain, the chapter that we haven't seen. Maybe escaped out on the on the boat that seems to have gone missing at some point during the bargain as well. But obviously they couldn't have because they've all died during the doom, which is before the bargain. So yeah, they didn't escape. They died here along with almost everybody else. Yeah. All right, so yeah, three more topmen left. Um, there is one of particular interest, I think. Well, you know, not everyone died here. One of them died out on the sea being forced to take to Formosan royalty with them. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was you... Wait. Who was it? They were drowned by a beast, this person. Uh, I don't remember. This one was electrocuted. definitely wasn't them. This one was speared by... Oh, yes. Oh, speared it was by this beast. one. It was this one. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the one, the only um, Chinese topman, the only Chinese person, actually, that goes with... um, What's his name? The shitty cap? Uh, Nichols. Nichols. Yeah. The only Chinese person that willingly goes with Nichols. Remember, they're the one who um, translates between the Formosan royalty and, and Nichols and all their buddies. Well, we say willingly, but we can assume that maybe Nichols at least somewhat used his position of power to extort the other members out to the sea. Like you saw yourself pointed out, at some point one of them yells out, give us a con gun for God's sake or something like that, which does make it seem like they weren't really on board with it 100% or otherwise they would be armed themselves as well. Yeah, true. It could be they were caught unarmed and forced to come on board as much as the Formosan royalty. Yeah. Since we can't identify the cause of death, because I guess we haven't actually found this last scene where they disappear at for Philip Dahl or Martin Parrott, that means we only have the three Chinese topmen left. 
We had no ideas on what to do. We could have solved it by brute force because we have their causes of death and everything. So if we just put in every combination of three different names we could, which wouldn't have taken that long, we could have gotten it. But um, we Googled, how are you supposed to identify the Chinese topman and found uh, a very light hint, apparently from the creator, Lucas Pope himself. The hint was look for clues in chapter two, scene one. Chapter two being a bitter cold, scene one being where the one person dies from illness in their bunk. So let's look around. Apparently the information is here. We've already identified you. Empty. Uh, this is before the this one Chinese Tom died. Yeah. yeah, this is before. Before the calling. Yep. Maybe that's the hint. <laughs> that sort of unreadable text and the X. The hell does that say? Probably a lot. I mean, some. Yeah, <laughs> probably. The bunk numbers of the Chinese topmen are 38 to 41 or 42. Yeah, yeah something like that. So 38 to 42. Yep. And so this is where they would be, I think. No. It... Wasn't it at the table where uh, there's a table at every place that you can fold down, actually. So I guess where yeah. the table is doesn't mean anything, does it? OK, this is this is them. Yes. 59. Yes. Yeah. 38. Occupied. Ooh. Is that a distinctive shoe, actually? It's kind of open? Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Okay. It is, isn't it? Yes. Uh, which one did we already identify? Um, you it's or... that, that one. So yeah. they're, they're uh, 41. It was 41? Yes. Okay, so you don't matter. Um. Oh, they have kind of like striped socks. socks. Okay, we have solid black striped socks and white socks, black shoe. Yeah, do you want to write this down? Um, yeah. So we noted down what bunk number was associated with what type of like shoe and sock sitch. <laughs> And uh, in this memory, we should be able to get a good look at everybody's shoe situation, except for this one. But if there's only one left, then we already know their name. Yeah. Do we even need to look there, actually? Like, does it just show in the picture? Is this picture detailed enough to see their well, shoes? Well, those two men up there, you can see their shoes, kind of. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll just use the ones we have here. It's probably better. Uh, you're the one we've already identified. Okay. Okay, this is one of the unidentified ones. Um, is this the one that died during the mur uh, the calling? I don't remember. It doesn't no, matter. No, they were decapitated by a beast. The the one who died during the calling was speared. Oh, yeah. So they have solid black um, socks and solid black shoes. So Do they, I think they have the stripes. Am I seeing stripes? I think you're seeing things. The striped one was a lot lighter. Mm. It wouldn't be dark like this. Okay. I want to see the other one. Oh, oh, this is so difficult now, isn't it? That's the solid dark one. Okay, yeah. I think so. Okay, so if they're the solid dark one, they are number what? 40. And if this is the striped one like I think it is? They are 39. Uh huh. Uh huh. That what? is a very. That was a very nice hint. Enough that we had a direction to go in. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't spoil it. So the remaining three are the Chinese topmen that we absolutely know the correct fate for, and then the two ones that we can't uh, even maybe. identify the cause of death for yet. Yeah, maybe we don't even need to do that. Maybe we just need to know their name, and then when we t put in that final top man's fate. Then the game will be like, congrats, you did it, bitch. <laughs> Maybe. 
So the final one. So now we just need to put 38. Yeah. Oh, I can't do it from here, can I? Yeah. Who oh, is? you just need to remember who they are. Um, They're in the other photo. Down. This one? Yes. Oh, no. Sorry. Well. What? I'm so confused about how to do this. Uh, how about I go this way? Okay. <laughs> who is the unidentified one? Not you. Not not you. Wait. Oh. Oh, it gave us the last one. By default? I get, no, you just, I think you just entered it in. Without realizing. I think you just entered it in without realizing. No. I didn't. Remember how I said we'd have to guess the last one? Just based on the fact that it's the last one remaining? I never did that. No, you looked at his picture. Through that selection and that's how you identified it am i pretty sure that's how you did it oh maybe that assigned it just by clicking on yeah it? oh oh yeah that makes sense okay and i think that's all we can know about these people that is so now i guess we turn it in yeah the game's definitely not going to end though I just don't know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Still waiting. You must be really wet. <laughs> what if this dude is like Martin Parrot or something? And we're like, whoa, dude. <laughs> Bro. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. If you have still business here, climb up and finish it. Else I'll make to port. Sound like a timer. I f I'm scared. I feel like Googling whether I can do... Well, I have to do this. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. Just... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Sit down so you don't fall out. It's been one week. Insurance assessment for the good ship Oberdin, victim of calamitous events at sea. That's one way to put it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're free to... I don't have to speed read this, because we can actually flip around in it. It's not oh. going to disappear like the notes at the beginning of the game. Ship damaged in squall in the Atlantic. Sunk in storm, Falmouth. Sunk? Sunk? Huh. What do you mean, sunk? What? I don't understand. Me neither. I don't think they had the technology in the 1800s to... Maybe sunk only means that it wasn't um, good for seafare anymore. Yeah, yeah, that could be. Pale claimed 20,000... Pound. Pounds. All cargo lost, 5,000 pounds. Like company cargo, crown cargo. Oh. Yeah, at a state. Yep. 3,000 pounds. Mm. Captain Robert Witterall. So we know exactly how they died, of course, but... Uh, murder of crewmate four, a state forfeited to the crown. Okay. First mate, attempted mutiny. A state fined 25 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't, I mean, I know that's a lot more at the time, but that still ain't much. Yeah. Edward Nichols, murder of crewmate two, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, a state fined 100 pounds. <laughs> Wait. I mean, I get... I guess they would be put in jail if it wasn't for the fact that they're dead, right? Yeah. 
Martin Parrott. Fate unknown. Findings of merit, extraordinary valor, exceptional performance of duties, state awarded outstanding wages, and reward of 90 pounds. Just out of curiosity, maybe these are worth a lot more than I think. Okay, so yeah, inflation is a hell of a thing. Apparently 90 pounds in 1800, uh, in today's pounds, is about 7,500 pounds? Holy shit! So, Fuck me. So yeah, 90 pounds is actually a lot. Holy shit. That's obscene. Oh my god. So like 15 pounds, which you might use to like buy a meal at a restaurant in that time would be enough to like buy a boat or a house. Something. <laughs> I mean, that's an exaggeration, but yeah. Damn. Whew. John Davies, fourth mate, findings, murder of crewmate, estate find, 15 pounds. Bosun, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded outstanding wages, and 70 pounds. Charles Minor, murder of crewmate one, estate unknown. Henry Evans, the surgeon, abandonment of crew and vessel. Oh, right, they escaped on the ship to Africa. Ah, uh, yeah. Estate, estate awarded outstanding wages. So it's a demerit, but not... Crime. Mm, yeah. Surgeon's mate, extraordinary valor, estate awarded outstanding wages. Carpenter, extraordinary valor. Marcus Gibson, outstanding wages. Cook, outstanding wages. Emil O'Farrell, exceptional performance of duties. Christian Wolf, the gunner, exceptional performance. Gunner's mate, murder of crewmate, attempted mutiny. Oh, that's the one that blasted the person yeah. in the face. Or. Got clap, got blasted in their face, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They tried to shoot the person who they stabbed. Mm hmm. The purser, abandonment of crew and vessel. Finley Dalton, outstanding wages. Edward Spratt, the artist. <laughs> outstanding wages. <laughs> <laughs> they really should say on here killed while shitting. <laughs> <laughs> killed from shitty pissy. Abigail, uh, no claim made. Nunzio, no claim made. Emily Jackson. Murder of crewmate. Oh, right, they shot someone with a gun. Yeah. Findings of demerit. Hashtag girl power. <laughs> <laughs> Findings of merit. Killed a dude. Rock. Abandonment of crew and vessel. Estate find. It feels weird to say demerit. That feels like it would knock you down, like, you know ruin your reputation amongst the Is Navy? it demerit or is it demerit? I think demerit? Yeah. But the thing is they're a passenger so they don't have any sort of position. But you keep pronouncing it as demerit. And I'm wondering if it's demerit. Oh, I mean you can pronounce it either way. Oh. English sucks. Yeah, demerit, demerit, whatever. <laughs> Miss Jane Bird, abandonment of crew and vessel, state fine. Boon Lon Lim, no claim made. Yi Bing Sia, estate unknown, expense claimed. Zhao Tan, murder of crewmate. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> right, that was the one that was falsely? Yes. Yeah. Huck Sang Lao, no claim made. Sung Yi Sothi? Oh, no, no, no. Um, He did shoot um Nichols, right? No, no, no. Yeah, Chiao Tan did, did shoot <sighs> Nichols. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Hok Sang Lao was the one that was falsely accused. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunki Sathi, state awarded outstanding wages. Philip Dull, murder of crewmate, findings of demerit, failure to perform duties, estate fine. Paul Moss, first mate steward, exceptional performance. Samuel Galligan, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo. I don't know why I'm reading all these, but I just feel like it. <laughs> we'll put a lot of work into this. Yeah. We, we've earned it. <laughs> Roderick Anderson, estate awarded outstanding wages. Davy James, Davy Jones, <laughs> abandonment of crew and vessel. Peter Milroy, extraordinary valor. Thomas Link, outstanding wages. Charles Hirschstick, extraordinary valor, exceptional performance. They did. Right? Charles Hirschstick? Yeah, they might be like a shitty midshipman. <laughs> but they did burn that monster they while we were on it. They did burn that motherfucker. 
Omid Ghoul, Topman, Exceptional Performance, Timothy Butement, Extraordinary Valor, uh, Huang Li, the Topman, um, Attempted Mutiny, Theft of Cargo. Oh, is this the one that went with? Yes. Nichols? With Nichols, yes. Jie Zheng, Topman, Extraordinary Valor, Li Hong, Exceptional Performance, Wei Li, Extraordinary Valor, Nicholas Botterill. Um, Maba, Extraordinary Valor. Outstanding wages and reward donated to pension fund. Good. Who's I get, pension who's, fund? Yeah. Deuce and have. <laughs> what? They say uns a state unknown, so they don't know who to give it to. I don't know. Who knows how finances work? Yeah. Who knows how finances work today? <laughs> Lewis Walker, attempted mutiny. Leonid Volkov, murder of crewmate. Alarkus Nik Nikishin, attempted mutiny theft of cargo. Expense claims. Alexei Toparov, attempted mutiny theft of cargo. Nathan Peters, murder of crewmate. Lars Linde. Ah, oh, right, that was the Dane. I always, when I see their name, I always think they're the one who did the clubbing, but no, they got clubbed. Yeah. <laughs> they went to the club and they didn't like it. Outstanding wage is 15. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a couple thousand, probably. <laughs> oh, true. John Naples, exceptional performance. Ryan Friedrich Jube, that's uh, outstanding wages donated to pension fund. Again, who's? Who's pension it fund? It feels like a shitty code word for just like, we just took the money. Yeah. Rem Akbar, exceptional performance. William Wasim, exceptional performance. Solomon Saeed. Estate. They didn't do anything fancy, I guess, but they're all right. <laughs> I mean, you get sick. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah they died really early on. Demerit from dying early. <laughs> died. <laughs> Hamadou Diom, exceptional performance. Henry Brin. Abby <laughs> fail. <laughs> they did a total Abby fail there. <laughs> Murder of crewmate. Alexander Booth, abandonment of crew and vessel. Patrick O'Hagan, tempted mutiny, theft of cargo. George Shirley, extraordinary valor. Samuel Peters. Outstanding wages. A preliminary draft of the assessment has been approved by the Royal Trade Guarantor. Total claimed twenty nine. Let's just say thirty thousand pounds. What would that would be? Fuck, probably millions. Yeah, holy shit. Um, I'm gonna type it in right now. Three thousand, thirty thousand is two two million. Two million. About two million five hundred thousand pounds. Holy shit! I mean, it is a boat, like a boat of the size. That's alone. Just the boat is extremely expensive. Yeah. And I think that was responsible for. I don't want to go all the way back, but I think it was a large part of the cost. Yeah, it was like, um, like um, I think twenty thousand was just a boat, and then like eight thousand was the cargo. Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of the Honorable East India Company, I certify all statements as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety. Psst. Pocket watch remains in your possession. The book returns to its original owner, Henry Evans of Morocco, as requested. A year later. Damn. It's been one year since you looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> Our marriage is steadily being falling apart. this hour. 
Must be important. I'll be turning in now. Tea's all gone, so you might think about going to bed as well. I can't leave the chair. I feel confined. It's weird. Aww. I can't even look behind me. <laughs> behind you, Slender Man. Hmm. from Jane Bird. Just looked at the bottom. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. Although the book was not fully solved, he asked me to... Wait, not fully solved? What? He asked me to express his appreciation at your attempt. He understood the difficulty of the task and that his final wish to see the completed book would not come easily. Of the four of us that survived the Oberdin's terrible ordeal, only three remain now. We are content with our situation here in Morocco and request no further correspondence. He's a come to us almost receiving your package. Evans. Was Evans the one who sent us the note? Yes. Okay, so it was actually... Like... They wanted us to figure out what actually happened? One of the... Like, the whole... All the four people, I guess, that survived? Yeah. Yeah. I hope this isn't saying we messed up. I hope not, because, like, bitch. We didn't? We literally couldn't? Yeah. Assign a cause of death for them? <laughs> I love how everything's synced up with the music. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so I guess you continue? I'm scared. Isn't this just the same note? Okay, so we tried to continue, thinking maybe it was an epilogue thing, but no, that just takes us back to the end cutscene. So we really, really did miss something, and it's- the thing we missed, though, is not that we can assign a fate to- to, um, Martin Parrot or anything like that. It- I don't know, it's something else? I think it might have to- possibly have to do with, like, the person in the barrel that's unidentified? Or something? What if the final two people will be solved in a group of two because that's all that's left and we just have the names reversed? Ah. Right? So, Huang Li, what if you're not actually Huang Li? What if you're Huang Li? And you're Li Hong. Aha! <sighs> So close. Okay, that's annoying that they changed the rules on the very last one. Yes. I thought there can't be anything wrong because it happens in groups of three and we'd only discovered a group of two. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad that we didn't have to replay the entire game to get this, you know? I'm yeah. glad that we could rewind. Yeah, there's two options there. Continue, which just brings you back to where you open that letter and read the letter from um, from Morocco. I mean, from yes. Jane in Morocco. Shane Bird. Yeah, but then there's also the rewind button, which brings you right back to right before you left the ship, so you can still do everything. Can you believe it? A package at this hour? Oh, the thing smells just dreadful. Oh, that's new. You don't open it inside. Why does it smell dreadful? I'll be turning in now. Oh. In the <laughs> yeah, before it was a letter has arrived. This is a package. Oh, ho, ho. Better not be a goddamn shell. Oh, if it is super cursed, I'd be like, curse, curse, curse. No, thanks. Not touching it. I write you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you along with the means to complete it. 
As for the three of us that remain, the Oberdin is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. That's the book. That's the letter we just read. What is this? Okay. Okay. Oh, I can use my watch on that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why do you have that? Mm, they just mailed that shit. I guess they didn't have x-ray scanners back in the day. That is so nasty. Ugh. I love that the existence of this pocket watch and how it works is just like casually accepted. Yeah. And known by these people. <laughs> it's really weird. This tale belongs to you now. Please finish it. Bargain, bargain, bargain. It's quite a few parts to the bargain. Five parts. Oh. really clever. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you are. Collect your things. Where's the key? To that door. Gone. Yeah. There's no time. We need to go. Right. Go. What are you up to? What the hell is that little thing? Oh, that's the, oh, it's the monkey! Oh, oh no. no! Oh, baby monkey! Monkey, no! What is that cord? Is that surgeon? The surgeon. That to his list of crimes: monkey killing. Yeah. When they were talking to somebody. You? No. No, they're talking to somebody outside, I think. Like, um... Inside. I guess... I guess that person back there, they're saying, like, where's the key? Ah. Uh. Well, the person inside's dead, I think. I don't think they'd be casually talking back. Monkey's paw. That's why it was. It was a human hand. Oh. Oh, yeah. A friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion uh. <laughs> sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. Why? Why did they kill it? Yeah, there you are. Collect your things. We so that's the the group that was going to leave and did end up leaving on the boat. Right, because the surgeon was one of them? Yeah. Collect your things, we... Blah, blah, blah. Where's the key to that door? Gone. Damn, there's no time. We need to go. In you go. In you go. They're talk so they put the monkey in here. Ah, uh, maybe they were, like, trying to frame it that the monkey killed the dude. Oh, there's two bodies in here. Yeah, and they have the, like, rope attached to the monkey. In you go, they had a rope. Why? Huh. I think we're going to finally figure out why this damn thing has been open. Oh. Uh, <laughs> scary. Chest is in here. That really does look sort of like a galaxy. Yeah. So that is, uh, that is, um, no, that is not a thing. That's Philip Dahl. I guess they also opened it and lost their hand to it, like it thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, same thing happened. Oh, that's Martin Parrot. Huh. They've been spiked. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we're going to end this episode here because 
Although this is probably going to be like a 20 minute episode or something. We've been recording for two hours. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to finish out the game, finish out the bargain chapter. F's in the chat for the monkey. I found them very pleasant, although I barely met them. <laughs> yes. <laughs>